Hey guys, it's Toast, back with another interview for the winner of the Polygon Invitational number 7, Classic, who ended up beating Sue 4-3. Without further ado, let's get to that video. What's your favorite kind of music? American music? Yeah. Adele, hello. Oh, Adele, hello? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Adele, hello. He likes it. Well, it's, well, it's a good song. It is? I'm surprised. That's a good answer. Yeah. That it's was a very, very American answer. I like it, I like it. Uh, who do you, uh, Classic, who do you consider to be the best player of all time for each race? Taran is Innovation, Jogu is Taku, Protoss is Classic. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty because I think you're very good too, so I would say you're probably one of the best Protoss. Uh, classic, what are your personal goals for 2017? Mm. For 2017, personally as a pro gamer, there's one thing that I've never been able to achieve, and that is a BlizzCon championship. Uh, I've won the I've won a championship for all other leagues, but I've never been able to win a BlizzCon championship. So I'm going to aim for that this year specifically. The year of classic, you heard it, boys. BlizzCon champion coming up. That's actually that's actually really true. What he's saying about he's won everything else. He won GSL. He won SSL. He won IEM. Like he's won everything else. Everything. Is he won a game hack? He has not won a dream hack, but if he, I'm pretty sure he will if he, he gets could, a if he, dream he could hack. if he wanted to. Let's, let's, he'll let's he'll win a dream hack if he wants to. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> dream hack? Uh, so I asked him about, I asked him about other tournaments. I asked him about uh, dream hack and I asked him about. Yeah, about this is what he had to say. Uh, obviously, if the opportunity arises, I would like to win championships for those tournaments as well. Uh, one time, I went to dream hack once, and I think I lost. Maybe in, I think in the quarterfinals to Jadong. So, I would like to go back to DreamHack and win a championship. And I would like to win a championship for Homestar Cup too, but uh, I haven't been invited yet. They, 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 don't, they, won't, they won't invite me for some reason to Homestar Cup, so if I get an invite, yes, I'll go and I'll try to win the championship. But obviously, BlizzCon being the most prestigious tournament of the year, that is the one that I have my sights set on. Okay, so you guys heard it. Classics putting Take TV on blast for not inviting exactly. him. Take, take. If you're listening <laughs> to this interview, invite Classic to Home Story. He wants to go, okay? Let's see. Classic, do you still talk to Hyung Kun? I don't know if I said that right or not. <laughs> oh, I already asked him. <laughs> is, that the, is that the Spo TV girl? Um, yeah, it's the, okay. it's the Spo TV girl. Um. Yeah, guys, I already asked Classic that. His answer was he's friends with her, he's close with her, but no, they're not romantically involved. Not yet. When, not yet. When he is number one Protoss, <laughs> yes. She is going to want Classic when he's number one Protoss. If Kim Do-Hoon is number one Protoss, then Lee Hyun-Kyung is going to Kim Do-Hoon. Lee Hyun-Kyung is going to be number one. Lee Hyun-Kyung is going to Classic says, okay, then I'll have to become number one. <laughs> Next question. Toss Boy asks, his, uh, Classic, have you ever thought about switching back to Terran? When I played Terran, I lost a lot. So, I mean, even even, even, even with the current state of Terran and how good Terran is right now, I still don't have any thoughts about switching back to Terran. I just, I just have way too many memories of having lost. If you could go back in time and meet, your, um, and meet yourself when you started playing StarCraft, what would you tell yourself? Oh, that's a fun question. Mm. If I could go back in time and meet my former self and I could tell him one thing, I would tell him, hey, listen, buddy, don't even bother with Terran. Just go straight to Protoss because when when StarCraft 2 comes, you're, you're going to want to start off with just Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Would he, uh, would he teach Would he teach him all the good builds too? Uh, if I go back in time and meet my former self, yes, I'll tell him the Protoss build orders in advance because I personally think that if I had chosen Protoss instead of wasting my time with Terran, uh, I'd be number one Protoss right now. What does he think of uh, what is it? I I loves uh, coaching, and what is his favorite memory uh, with him? Hmm. In terms of I love his coaching style, I, I feel like he was very versatile. When he first came into SKT as a head coach, he was. It, it felt like we were in like Sparta. We felt like Spartans. He like would work us until like four in the morning, just practicing nonstop. Um, then, like as time passed, he kind of got more lax and kind of 
gave us more freedom and in terms of practicing but then towards the end he also kind of did a mixture of two of like the spartan training and then also lax training he, he did a mix of the two so it was, it was very interesting being under i love Uf. he had some very diverse coaching styles in terms of uh, favorite memories with him, I, I remember that uh, I Love Uv, he, he likes exercising a lot. So he, he purchased exercising equipment for us and placed them in the practice room. So we would, we would work out from time to time and that was fun. Back when living in the team house, they fed us really well. They were always on top of getting meals and buying meals for us. But now that I'm on my own, I tend to not really take care of myself as well as I should have. I don't, I don't eat as much and I don't... Take, take care of myself in terms of meals, so I've actually lost a lot of weight. Okay, I had one random question is, what's his favorite animal? I like Togu. Does he have a dog? Ah, uh, no. Not right now. Okay, so, I, I, I really like dogs, and in fact, when we lived at the SKT team house, we had a dog. Um, I love Uv, our, our head coach likes dogs, so we actually had a dog and, and we were keeping a dog in the team house. And Ninja Toss actually has a, a couple of really good questions that we'll go through here. Classic, can you describe your relationship with your ex uh, SKT uh, teammates, especially uh, Sue, Innovation, and Dark? Uh, I'm really close with uh, all of my teammates. I would say. But I would definitely, but I would say that my best friend is like Sue, um, the closest with Sue. Um, but yeah, I'm also really close with Innovation and Dark too. Which pro gamers uh, do you like the least? I don't want to say hate, uh, or do you consider to be an enemy? Uh, Even though I am really close to him, I really dislike playing against Dark. I have way too many memories of having lost to him. Uh, I consider Dark like my Achilles heel. I just can't seem to beat him. Is there a player that you always cheer against? Dark. 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 <laughs> Dark. <laughs> wow, he is a re he really does have a love hate relationship. He is super anti Dark, man. He has bad memories against Dark. But he, yeah, likes, but he also loves Dark, so he's like very. I know, like... <laughs> yeah, no, he loves Dark. Dark is a friend. Dark is his friend. You know? And he also hates him. He hates playing against Dark, and he wants bad <laughs> things to happen to Dark. And... Uh, classic. How much uh, for a best of seven series? So how much would it cost for someone to play you in a best of seven? What's the minimum? <laughs> okay. Indeed. I would say that uh, even even if like the prize pool wasn't all that high. Like for instance, uh, recently I had a uh, Polygon Invitational best of seven against Sue. So uh, a prize pool around that range would would still be fine uh, for me. I. I, I just like playing, participating in tournaments in general, so as long as I can have fun, uh, yeah, I'll play in the best of seven. The, the price pool doesn't have to be significantly high. Okay. Yeah, I like it. He's more into the games than for the money. That's, uh, uh, teams, I like how we... teams take notice, because that is a that is a good quality <laughs> to have in a player. I love, I love how we plugged in the match against Sue. We didn't even need to tell him to do that. Oh. Easy. Classic. Okay. If you could be Archon partners with anyone, who would it be? Um, which, uh, yeah, Surang, Su. <laughs> Su? <laughs> Su <laughs> so I, I played Archon with Su, and we played random, and surprisingly, we were in a lot, a lot. We had um, we had more synergy than we thought we would. So uh, I would say I would want to Archon mode up with Su again. Okay. Cool. Call me Sparky ass. Why do you like playing Stargate in all of your matchups? Uh, I like playing Stargate in all my matchups. Not necessarily because they're good, but because I'm confident in my uh, control and my micro. Especially uh, the Oracle. I'm very confident in when, when it comes to microing the Oracle. And I just think that I personally am very good with Stargate units. So that's why I play Stargates a lot in my matchups. What's your favorite unit in the game? Uh, Oracle. Oracle? Okay. <laughs> Oracle. <laughs> What's your favorite macro opener for PvZ, PvT, and PvP? Mm. So, when it comes to each matchup, I would have to say I really like opening up Oracle. Uh, Oracle allows me to transition comfortably into my macro games. I like, I like Oracle into Triple Nexus. 
So those are my macro openers for each matchup. But oh, not for not for PVP, obviously. But even for PVP, I will open up or. I like Rucker. Because my because my control is very good. Top ten, top top tier control. Top ten control. Toast, are we asking the um the cheese question? His favorite cheese? I was just gonna skip it. Okay. It's I don't even know if he has favorite cheeses. It was, I, I He's gonna say Oracle. Yeah. I mean, He's gonna say, oh, my favorite cheese is Oracle. Okay, let's ask. Classic, what's your favorite cheese? Sijiro's <laughs> gonna Okay, so for PVT, my favorite uh, cheese all in is uh, Proxy Stargate. Open up with Oracle into Void Ray. That, that kills them. And then for. PVZ. There aren't really that many all-ins, but there is one that I like to do. It's a uh, it's a Warp Prism Dark Templar opener, and then you morph them into Archons, keep up the pressure, and then you pump out charge lots and just run in from the front and kill everybody. And then for PVP, my favorite cheese all-in would be Proxy Robo, and that's that requires an Immortal all-in bust. What do you think of Blizzard? In terms of Blizzard as a company for how they support the StarCraft 2 scene, I'm actually quite satisfied because they're still supporting us, they're giving us good prize pool for tournaments. Uh, so I'm satisfied in that regard. In terms of such, in terms of balancing, I wish they would be a little more quicker on that and give more patches that favor Protoss. From a Protoss standpoint perspective, I don't really like where things are at right now. So what he's basically saying is, David Kim, please. <laughs> That's exactly what he's saying. David Kim, please. <laughs> please, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> Classic. Uh, do you think uh, StarCraft 2 in uh, Korea has a future without Kespa support? Mm. <clears throat> well, Obviously, <laughs> with no more Kespa support in the StarCraft 2 scene, it's, it's gotten a lot more difficult. But it's not. It's not completely unsustainable because we have many online leagues still and we have individual leagues still that we can participate in. But if there's one big thing is that we're not salaried players anymore. We're not contracted with teams anymore, which means we live solely based off of what we earn through through prize, prize money. So a lot of importance is put now on individual leagues and, and establishing results. So there is that one big factor change right now. <laughs> Two here that we have. Uh, do you think StarCraft 2 is going to stay around as an esport? That's really hard to call. Uh, there's really no certain way to know whether or not, or just how long, how much longer StarCraft 2 will remain. But it is important to note that a lot of people said at first that StarCraft 2 would never even make it as an eSport, but we're still here to this day and we're still surviving and we're still going, so um, I just I just hope that StarCraft 2 will continue to remain as an eSport for as long as possible, that it will just continue to keep surviving for as long as it can. Yeah. I think, my, my personal view on it is, is I think it will. I mean, we've already been doing it for seven years now and it's not dead now. Bird Wars over 20 years old, not dead now, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Um, Classic, have you ever wondered about your military service uh, with many players either choosing military service like 4GG or being forced to retire like Polt? Um, have you put much thought into it as you've gotten older? Mm. That's a good question. Uh, so in terms of the the military, the mandatory military service causing all these pro gamers to retire, I obviously uh, see it as a big disappointment because all these players most of them are probably not retiring when they want to, retiring because they have to. Um, so it is a big disappointment, but there's not really much we can do about it. I mean, the nation, the nation has made a mandatory, so there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, I myself also am getting pretty advanced in, in the years, and uh, I will also have to join the military soon. Well, not soon, but I will have to join the military eventually. So that is why I'm putting a lot of importance in winning the Bliss in winning BlizzCon championship because I need to I need to get that done and over with before I have to retire into the military myself. So that's why I'm that's why I set that goal for myself this year. I'm a many years later. So classic, go ahead and, and give your your final comments. 
It was all in the game. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, I just want to thank Toast and Polygon Organization for inviting me to do this interview. I had a lot of fun. And uh, I hope to be able to do an interview like this again in the future. And uh, just want to thank my fans for cheering me on. I will. I said that my goal was BlizzCon Championship, but uh, because I have GSL to focus on right now, I will focus hard on GSL. Focus on GSL first so that I can get through GSL and uh, just keep showing good games and showing a good form for all my fans. And like I said earlier in the interview, my goal is to become the number one Protoss, so I will work hard to achieve that goal. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's interview. We really appreciate that. A big shout out to Classic for coming on. Uh, now, guys, if your question didn't get answered tonight, you know, have no fear. Try again for next time. We'll try to get you on if we can. Make sure you're asking the best questions possible. Be sure to subscribe to Polygon Gaming on YouTube. You can follow Classic at SKT1Classic. You can follow me at Dank Shrine, And you can follow Polygon Gaming at Polygon SC2. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Uh, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Yeah. Uh, I like pizza and hamburger. What's your favorite Korean food? Korean food? Yeah. Um, kimchi Korean chicken. name. Ah, yes. <laughs> kimchi chicken and samgyeopsal. Okay, me too. Do you know, do you know what samgyeopsal is? I don't know what that one is. I don't know what's that one. Samgyeopsal is uh, pork belly, sliced pork belly. Ooh, that's it's, good. That would be good. I, I would like that. It's fucking amazing. What's the what's the what's the uh, rice cakes with the fish sauce? Oh, that's called odeng. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's, that's good <laughs> too. <laughs> okay.